Maintaining a baseball field to a high level can be a daunting task. Because of constant use, weather, and lack of attention, the home plate area can be particularly difficult to properly maintain. Through use of correct construction and maintenance techniques, your field can provide a consistent and safe area for the batter, catcher, and umpire. We've asked Larry DeVito, Sports Turf Manager for the Washington Nationals, and Bob Christofferson, Sports Turf Manager for the Seattle Mariners, to show you how to successfully maintain this high-use area. The National Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association, in partnership with the Sports Turf Managers Association and its charitable arm, the Foundation for Safer Athletic Field Environments, proudly present Maintaining the Home Plate Area, a professional approach. Hi, I'm Larry. I'm here with Bob. We're at Blue Valley High School in Kansas. And we're going to talk today about home plate maintenance and all the aspects involved with the hitter, the catcher, and the umpire. We're going to start off with the batter's box and what makes a hitter comfortable. We'll also talk about the area in front of home plate, the radius, the lift as you're getting onto the grass, and uh, we're ready to go to work. Sounds good. Let's get to work, Bob. Okay, Larry, we got our template all set for the right-hand batter's box. Let's go ahead and score it, and then we'll lay our bricks in. Sounds good, Bob. Gonna move the box out of the way. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna just show you a small sample of, of, of the clay, clay box going in. We're gonna put them about six inches beyond the end of the box. So the batter's box ends right here. We're gonna add a little bit. And when you do this, you're gonna do the entire box. Okay, we're ready to go. Start digging. Okay, we've got our subgrade, it's nice and level, and, and we're, now we're ready to put the bricks in. All right, we're back here at our hole. We're working on our subgrade. We've uh, excavated a little area here to show you how to install these bricks. And we're gonna install them quarter inch below grade, Bob. Quarter inch below grade sounds perfect. Top it off with a little infield in material, okay? So the critical part of this subgrade is a couple things. You wanna have as straight an edge as possible. And obviously you want your subgrade to be level. So we're just checking that right now. Looks good. All right, let's go. Okay, nice tight fit. Perfect. All right. So we gotta work on just getting them level now. That looks pretty good, Larry. All right. Okay, Bob's giving the bricks a little bit of moisture. Now we're going to tamp and kind of meld them together. Always important to have the bottom of your tamp clean when you get started. So I always give it a good scrape and we're ready to go. So now we're adding a little bit of material on top. That's, uh, it's going to pack as well. It just doesn't have as high a percent of clay as, as the brick does. This will fill in all the cracks and get us up to grade. Okay, before I get my finished tamp, I'm just kind of getting a little bit of compaction first with my foot. This way will prevent it from sticking to the tamp because we've got to have some moisture in there for this to pass. Pretty close to the finished product, Bob. That, that's a nice surface to, to hit a baseball on. Okay, here we are again at the back point of the white home plate, right here where the field starts. Bob's gonna measure the radius of the home plate circle. Okay, Larry, uh, the circle is a 26 foot circle, 13 foot radius. This is looking pretty good. Okay. Another aspect of home plate area maintenance is the lift of the grass at the front of the plate. And this is critical for a couple of reasons. Number one, on bunts, if you have too high a lift here, it'll cause the bunt to you know, either practically stop or take a funny hop. And the other is the throws from the outfielder to the catcher. 
He doesn't have a lot of time to handle those throws and he needs a good bounce. Is that right, Bob? That's right. And then also you want to you, you want to have a little softness here in the front area so when the ball hits it, it's gonna it's gonna deaden it and, and uh, you get truer hops when it's a little a little softer. Exactly. Slow the ball down right here in front of the plate a little bit, take some top spin off it, and give your infielders an extra step. Okay, Larry, the last step before we're gonna play a ball game is we want to talk a little bit about where the catcher and the umpire stand. The, okay. the idea and the goal is to have this a nice, firm, flat, and level playing surface for the for the umpire to stand and the catcher to, to sit at this position. It's important for the catcher to be on a level surface so that he feels comfortable when he comes out of his squat to make throws to second or third base. And also the area just right immediately in front of home plate, we want to make sure that it's, it's level, it's the, the, right up to the edge of the plate so when a ball does come in, whether it's thrown from the pitcher or thrown from somebody in the infield or, or a throw from the outfield, that the ball's not going to take a bat off on it. Exactly. There's an area that during the course of the season tends to get real hard, so help you catch out keep the moisture in that just like you do everything else in the home plate area. Okay, Bob, looks like it's all coming together here at home plate for us. Yeah, it looks real good. Let's just kind of recap a couple of things that we went over. Well, we started out with the batter's boxes and filled in those bricks. About a quarter inch below grade, nice level even surface on top for the batter. Same thing with the catcher's area. Yeah, you don't want it too hard. You want everything firm and you want good moisture in it. You want to avoid getting too hard and dry in there. And let's make sure that we work on the front area as well, making sure that the lip between the grass and the dirt is nice and even. Exactly, and you can try and really soften up this dirt in front of home plate, keep the moisture good in there, and help your infielders out. Give them an extra step on defense. All right, I think we're ready to play ball. Let's play ball.